Intern! Intern, come on! I know, good morning, good morning, and you just got here and all that jazz, but it is time! Carol is already giving birth to her second set of beaver babies! Isn't that amazing? Oh, and look at our park ranger surveying the glorious, beautiful park. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I am so proud of how it is coming together so wonderfully, Intern. You and I, you and I have had so much experience in taking care of these kinds of wildernesses, and it brings me so much pleasure to be working on an actual park. <gasps> she loves giving birth in the bilberries. Oh my goodness, it's more beaver babies. <gasps> a new beaver baby! Welcome, little one! Welcome to the world, Carol. Congratulations on your second child. Oh, it's a little girl again. That's wonderful. So now we have four baby girls. I think, no, wait, let me think. Okay, we've got Beth. Now we've got this one. Nope, we have got three baby girls having been born here in the Beaver Lodge, <laughs> the Beaver Lodge Beaver Park. And that is, that is wonderful. And this little scamp, what are we going to name you? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to think of a good name. We have already named the other two babies. So we have Jenny. So we little Jenny and her brother Dwayne. Oh, so fun. Carl, congratulations. I wonder if Mitchie, let's see, she's eating lettuce from the hollow log. Uh oh, and the bullfrogs are sick again, what? Silly bullfrogs. Before you know it, these bluegill, these beautiful bluegill, by the way, might be nomming on them pretty soon. So we'll have to keep our eyes out for that. But oh my gosh, I am still, so happy with how gorgeous, how absolutely stunning this pond, this lake is turning into as time goes on. Oh, that's just, that's so wonderful to me. We lost our half a star, by the way. I have no idea why. Because, because who knows? Because who knows? Oh, but in turn, I did hear something when we came, when we came this way in the morning. I thought I heard the quack quack of some <gasps> duck, ducks. Ducks! Oh my gosh, there's mallards here now! They must have been attracted to the beautiful wetlands that we have built. Oh my goodness! Hello! Hello, any duck ducks? Any duck ducks? Are you just are you are you alone, duck duck? Do you have do you have any friends, any family with you? Any mate? You know, who you want to conveniently uh settle in here for a while, have some babies? I see one duck duck. Oh, they just blend in perfectly to these cattails. It's hard to keep an eye on them. Why hello, sir! How are you? How are you? Are you all by yourself? Are you just roaming around, kind of checking things out? Ugh, why are these tadpoles not thriving? Thrive, tadpoles, thrive! Hmm, that's gonna keep our rangers busy at least. I really should leave the job to the rangers. I just feel bad. The tadpoles, they need to thrive. Go on, go on, go on. Thrive, thrive, thrive. Do you see any other ducks intern? Let's follow this duck for a little while. Let's see where he's going. If nothing else, he's showing us a whole nother area of the zoo we really need to add more into. The park, I mean. Oh, I'm so used to working in zoos that I keep saying saying zoo. But this is a conservation park. Let's add some white lilies. <gasps> another duck! Another duck! Oh my goodness, intern! Oh, wow! I bet she's kind of wild because she ran away from us pretty quick. There's two of them! Two females on this side! <gasps> Ducks! Oh, that's a good thing. That's a good, good, good thing. That means that we are definitely seeing some increase in the native biodiversity to this area. So that makes me very happy. However, what doesn't make me happy is how absolutely bare and empty this area is. So let us fix that in turn. Do, 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 do. There we go. It's a good thing that because we are a conservation agency, they are getting better and better about helping us afford these plants. There we go. There, and what's this? Ooh, more white lilies. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. And let's grab some bilberries. Bilberries are wonderful. The beavers seem to really be enjoying the bilberries too, kind of pecking away at them. Speaking of pecking, we'll have to see how many ducks we can find inside of our park in just a minute. There we go. Well, that's a good sign. Now, the ducks, I'm not too surprised to see. I'm really hoping to see some other native birds settle in. But, you know, mallards are very migratory. They're very migratory dabbling ducks. Um, and so you expect to see them kind of moving around until they find a nice area to settle in for for a while, make a little nest. What we really want to see are some of the animals that are a little fussier about where they settle down. Because that's when we'll know that we're doing pretty good, is when we have more of the birds who have to be more critical about the areas that they pick to settle in. 
Oh my gosh, we're gonna fill up this place with so many bilberries. So many bilberries. There we go. Oh, and there's some of that invasive bamboo. Let's take it out. And let's see. Good. The rangers are taking care of these sick baby tadpoles. Who knows why on earth they're getting they're getting so sick. And let's rush over here. Ooh, some nice maple trees. There, that should add in some good, good sense of a uh, thicker diversity over here. There we go. There, that makes me much happier. Yay! And we're getting that half a star back, which will be great because we can add, uh, get the permit to add in the breeding center once we hit two stars. Very exciting. Also, I'm very interested to see whether or not um, Mitchy becomes pregnant again pretty soon because Carol has already given birth twice, which is amazing. There go the bats. Oh, those bats are so cool. I love those bats. That is just awesome. All right, so let's see, intern. What other plants do we need to add in over here? Hmm, to really bring the forest to life. Let's get down and look around. It's doing pretty good, but we don't have a lot of biodiversity in the plants yet. The trees, I would say, are doing really well, but there's not a lot of ground cover. There's not a lot of, of like, your, your different... We've got lots of berries, but we need different kinds of plants. So let's see what we have to pick from. Ooh, the pitcher plants! I forgot about the pitcher plants. Let's actually, I actually want to take just a moment and turn to educate people about how amazing pitcher plants are by coming down here and then, oh, what are you, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you people. I forgot we didn't have any maintenance staff here, intern. Who's cleaning the bathrooms? Oh my gosh, you know, I told you that I wanted our guests to have a little bit more of that like nature feel by giving giving them just the logs and not the artificial stuff. But intern, I never meant I wanted them to have the nature feel by the fact that their bathrooms wouldn't be clean and that no one would be sweeping the trash. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, we're gonna have to, yep, nope. Yeah, definitely a maintenance worker. Mm-hmm. Maintenance worker Misa. Uh, we're gonna name him Maintenance Worker Mallard. So, uh, Worker Mallard. He is going to go around and tidy this place up because I cannot believe this. This is why I'm so glad that as time goes on, we're able to work more and more exclusively with just the animals. And we don't- oh my goodness. And no wonder these guys are complaining about their thing being messy. Ah, there's more of that invasive bamboo. Get out of here. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe we forgot some of those basics. Oh my gosh, I hope he cleans those bathrooms soon. Goodness, no wonder we were losing stars for the poor park. No wonder, no wonder. But as I was saying, intern, I actually do enjoy teaching people uh, quite a bit. It's, it's a passion of mine. So what I want to do is I want to put in like a little pitcher plant spot, a little wetland spot, probably right here, where we can teach people. Let's put a log over here to get ready. Uh, about the biodiversity of the land. So let's put a pitcher plant, a few of them over here too. Pitcher plants are really awesome. If you don't happen to know, and I'm sure you do in turn, pitcher plants eat insects by attracting insects to fall into their very slippery little tubes. And in fact, let me get down here so we can stare at the slippery little tube. But you see this right here? Basically, the pitcher plant emits a scent of a really yummy, delicious scent. So you're a fly flying along and you're going, ah, something smells wonderful. And you come over and you sit on the lip right here of the, of the flower, the, the tubular part of the plant, and you fall in because there's a very slippery material on the lip of that plant that causes the fly or the other insect, whatever's over here, to lose its grip and fall in. And it falls into a very slippery material that it cannot then get out of. And so it's stuck. It's stuck there and the material also has digestive enzymes in it that start breaking down the insect's body and turning them into goo, goo, gel, digestive fluid basically. Um, not the kind that are in animals clearly, but it's a way of digesting bugs. So they're very interesting, very fascinating plants that we consider carnivorous plants. They eat, um, they eat insects, <laughs> which they don't actively like the verb eat insects. They more melt the insects in goo than anything else, but it's it's an amazing, interesting way where people uh, or where plants have evolved to utilize more food sources, mobile food sources too. There's lots of different varieties, but pitcher plants happen to be one of my favorite because they're very pretty in my opinion. 
So we're going to teach people a little bit about pitcher plants. We're going to do that by putting in a small little pond over here. Keep it nice and moist like the pitcher plants like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. All right, intern, now let's come in here and we're going to kind of smooth with our little shovel. We're going to push the mud around. <laughs> I bet you didn't think you'd grow up and be working with mud and making little mud pies for the sake of plants when you got older, eh? I know I didn't. All right, let's see. Let's try this. Doink. There we go. Doink. There, that's better. Good. And so now we're going to add in, let's move the log. We're adding another log. Ooh, actually that looked really good. There we go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that I put that right next to a gate, but that's okay. It's just a little bit of water for them to splash around in. Ooh, Beth wants to mate, but can't find a mate. Oh, that's good. That means that she will probably attract a nice male with her pheromones to our area soon. So that's very exciting. Go, Beth, go. She's going to attract another male beaver, I bet, to our park because we are getting a very healthy park set up here. There we go, plenty of those. Maybe we'll put in some tiny, just a couple water lilies, just to keep things nice and there. Mm -hmm. There, and now we're gonna add in quite a few of these little pitcher plants. So we're gonna sprinkle these guys in, kinda along the riverbank. They just mostly need an area that's pretty moist more than anything else. Um, but we're gonna put a lot of them in because this will be a purposely planted pitcher plant garden where people can come and learn about pitcher plants. And hopefully we'll get lots and lots of insects over here. In fact, let's add in some um, to attract the insects. What should we add in to attract more insects over here? Hmm. Huh. I think what we'll do to attract more insects is actually we'll put down some rotting meat. I know that seems so weird, doesn't it? But we're gonna, we're gonna sneak some rotting meat over here to attract some flies. So that's just, it's uh, there we go. It's just kind of tucked in there. Actually, we'll swap that out. There we go. There. We'll encourage ants and things like that to set up little nests over here. Well, we should put up like a little warning sign for our guests. Please do not poke the ant nest. It is an active thing in progress. There we go. And now we've got a little interactive spot. It needs spruced up a bit more though where people can come and learn about pitcher plants. So let's put in let's see, what about medium rock. Yeah, we'll put in a medium rock right here. We'll put in another medium rock eh, over here. And a small one over here. There we go. Just to kind of tidy the area up, make it look nice. We need to make this a bigger viewing platform for people to come and see the animals from over here. No, my pitcher plant! Come back, pitcher plant! There. And so we might spruce this up just a little bit more, perhaps. But I like I like what it, what's going on here now. Okay, and then let's come over here. Make sure we've got some mud. Good old-fashioned mud. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. So there we go. And now we've got... Oops! And we're inside the wrong spot. And now we've got an awesome little area where people can come and learn about pitcher plants! Oh, hooray, hooray, hooray! Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. That makes me happy. There we go. That makes me so happy. Woo! And all right, interns. So now we've got lots and lots of beavers starting to be born to show up, to spread around. We've got some rotting logs with worms in it that are probably going to make the, uh, the awesome mallards that are wandering around pretty happy if we can ever find them. Also, what the heck? Who's complaining in here? Well, it's your guys' fault. You guys are all poopy. Filling the pond up with, with all sorts of gunk. So there we go. Hopefully they're a little happier. And then let us see, where on earth have those mallards gone? I am fascinated to learn about where the ducks keep wandering off to. Did they fly away? Are they not here at our park anymore? Are they, are they really not here anymore? I was hoping they would set up shop. Oh, there's one! All right, we're gonna tag her. We're gonna tag her and follow her. In fact, let's go ahead and tuck a little GPS thing in her feathers. And that way, if we want to find her in the future, if she's nearby our park, we'll be able to locate her. So hopefully she'll lead us to her friends. Where are we going, Miss Mallard? Are we headed out here? <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness, intern, look! We managed to get another star for the zoo! Or the zoo. I keep saying zoo. It's a park, not a zoo. Park, not a zoo. 
So, hmm, as soon as it becomes uh, a little bit brighter in the day, then we will see if we can get in our research permit so that we can have our breeding center built here. Where the heck did she go? These mallards, I swear, they're really good at hiding from us. I hear the bats. There go the bats for their nightly feeding. Where are... Oh, there she is. Okay, we're just going to follow her. So far, we've seen two females. Oh, is that another one? Is that another one? That's a rock in turn. That's just a rock. Mallard one is now pregnant. What? We've got mallard babies on the way. Everybody's hanging out down here. Oh, there's the mallards. We found them. They're hanging out down here with the beavers. Everybody's just kind of partying down this way. Good. Well, that's wonderful. We've got we've got little baby bird babies on its way. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. Oh my gosh. So let's let's get back to our work what we were doing. We just need a few more kind of medium level plants mixed in. So we've got our wetlands plants. Let's see what about let's see, grasslands plants. Nice grass and splints. We might put a few pansies and things like that. Scatter them in there. Some dahlias, tulips. Those are things that don't just grow. The yellow hibiscus, not so much. Those are things that don't just grow. Like the daisies. You can sometimes find those in mountainous areas and thick forests. Because you can find some of those in the wild around here. And then let's see. Temperate forest. There we go. This is what we're looking for. More of your mid-level sort of plants. Like these ferns. Ferns would actually be a really great addition to our land over here, especially the ladies' ferns. Oh, how could I have forgotten about ferns in turn? They fill up the area very nicely. Nope, who just grew up? <gasps> Jenny has just grown from young to adult. Oh my goodness, these beavers, they are growing up so fast. I'm so excited. We are gonna achieve our major mission here at the zoo. The zoo, I keep calling it a zoo. How embarrassing, in turn. We are gonna be able to help them achieve their major missions in getting this area set up for its native wildlife even faster than I dreamed because the beaver is actually considered a keystone species which means it's a species that has a very large ecological effect outside of what you would think it would simply because of what they do they have a tremendously huge effect on the environment and holy moly look at this I just I get distracted because I'm like oh my gosh it is so beautiful. These ferns are just so gorgeous. Oh, that was awesome, intern. Let's do it again. We're gonna come over here. What's this? Invasive bamboo, get out of here. Get out of here, invasive bamboo. And we're gonna come in and put in some more ferns. Ooh, nice, I like it. I like it, there we go. There we go, I like it. We'll come in here and add in a few more ferns, just kind of scattered about. <gasps> the mallards are gonna lay an egg! Oh my goodness, we need to go see that. I think that would be fun to see. Also, let's sneak in some mushrooms, because mushrooms are amazing. Can we sneak some of them in? Ooh, look at those. There we go. Snuck some mushrooms in. So let's go see if we can see the mallard laying her egg. Oh my gosh, very excited. But yep, we're just gonna have to continue to add in the ferns Oh, that's looking so much fuller. That's what we need right here. And pretty soon we'll start adding, adding in a bit of a smattering of some plants, planting some of the native flower seeds. It should turn out great. <gasps> She's laid her egg. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, let's see what's going on. <gasps> look at all the eggs. Oh my gosh, look at all those eggs. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, she has she has laid herself quite a little nest right here. That is so exciting. That is so exciting. And there's mallards running around. Got to clean up after them now to you. Congratulations, mallard number one. I hope you're you're satisfied and enjoying yourself. Settling in here. Apparently, if the mallards think that this is a safe enough forest and wetlands to raise their young in, then I'm really hoping that means we will start attracting even more creatures. Ooh, very fun. Very fun. So we're going to work on getting the ferns in, and then I think we'll be able to work a little bit more at getting some more of the aquatic species added in, because that is something that we have been asked to do by the BLB. So I'm thinking, I wouldn't be surprised if a turtle started showing up, and I think now that the bluegill have settled into the pond, we will introduce a new fish, and I'm thinking the catfish, because it is a pretty good eater of almost everything, and they've got really awesome barbels. Barbells, not barbs. Keep in mind those little, those little 
stickers, those little catfish whiskers that they have. They're not called barbs. Those are what you find on a bird. They're called, they're, they're called barbells because scientists like to be specific. Oh, and we've got our rangers. Things are going great. And who knows, maybe Beth will be able to attract a new male. Very interesting. And we'll have to see whether or not that male is attracted to Beth or to Jenny. So our beavers are breeding. Our little park is growing and things are going great. Oh, wonderful. All right, intern, I'll see you in the morning. We're gonna get some ferns planted and hopefully we'll be surprised with some new critters showing up in our wetlands, rather like the amazing mallards. So I will see you then, bye-bye.